you've downloaded the latest patch and you're wondering, have things really changed? On today's show, I'm going to share with you something. I'm going to show you how one aspect of the game is now playing very differently compared to FM22. Throughout the beta and the early stages of the game, I've been advising people, you've got to watch out for your defensive line. And on some of my videos, I've even shown uh, situations where the defensive line seems to be higher. So I decided, well, why don't I compare what's happened in FM22 to what's happening in FM23? Is there a difference? The reason why I started doing this was because I wanted to understand why some people were having such a hard time defending. We know some of the roles have changed, the way pivots are working has changed, and I just wanted to share this with you. Now, assuming that um, this is the system we're going to use, this is my Palemo system. It's from FM22. So we use this system in FM22. I've got the same system now, and I brought it into FM23. I mean, it still works, and it works really well, actually. And uh, I wanted to see whether the boys are going to defend differently. So we've got a much higher defensive line with a high block. And then we've got step up, more prevent short goal keeper distribution is at 75%. We're playing on a very attacking mentality. And well, this is what I've seen. Now I've got here images of the defensive line away. And this is home. So we've got FM22's away. If you look at this and I compare to FM23, what our defensive line looks like away from home, you will notice when we don't have the ball, the positioning now on FM23 is actually higher. Look at where our midfielders are. It's the same tactic. So the central midfielders are now in the opposition half. Here, all three central midfielders are in our own half. The deepest player is closer to the goal in FM22, in FM23, they're further away. Then when I looked at our home matches, same thing again, but this time it's a bit more aggressive. Here we have um, our team again, slightly higher. If you notice, the two central midfielders are now closer to the halfway line. The DM is slightly positioned slightly higher. Overall, without the ball, it looks like they are, it's, it looks almost like a position that they take up halfway across, halfway near the pitch, right? In FM23, if you look at this, the attacking Mazala is very high up the pitch. The two central midfielders are clearly in the opposition half. We've got a central defender who's sitting on the edge of the semicircle. Both the players are very high. I've got several tactics that I've used, including some other systems, and I've shared them with uh, other content creators during this uh, beta cycle, running into the dispatch cycle, and I showed them one where my back line was sitting on the halfway line. And we were playing a mid block. So this is interesting because it explains why some people are having an issue when they play very high defensive lines, high lines of engagement with maximum pressing intensity. I know sometimes it's a go-to thing to do. Of course, you should watch FM Lama's latest video explaining pressing. It's very simply presented, but effective. If you're going to play really high up the pitch, you either have to have very good defenders, and if you opted to go with step up more, please be careful. You're compressing space. In doing so, you're leaving yourself vulnerable as well. If you don't win the ball back, if you can't win the ball back, what are you doing playing with step up more? Why are you compressing space in the opposition third? If you can't use the ball effectively, you're just leaving yourself vulnerable to the ball over the top. FM23, probably one of the best blocks in the game is actually the mid block. And I would recommend for the majority of people who are struggling with the game, consider playing with the mid block first, right? Get better players. If you want to go and press high in the opposition third, you want to go again pressing on them. I'm sure again pressing works really well if you have the players for it. If you don't, then God help your defense. I hope you enjoyed this short little video. I'm going to be releasing a guide to the for the community in general. I'm just writing it up right now. It's a normal thing I do. You know, I usually release two guides every year. And this one is going to have some tactics. It's going to have an explanation on quite a few of the changes that were made in the match engine. Uh, and yeah, how we use statistics in the game. I hope that you find it useful. You don't forget the Dropbox link in the description of the video contains the Dr. JIT tool. You can use that to analyze your team. 
It also has views, schedules, tactics. Go ahead, have some fun. Let me know how things get on with Football Manager 23. Meanwhile, you stay safe. Take care of each other. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.